So, okay. So now it's happening. Seems like it's happening. Is the... Do you see it? Yeah, I think you should put the volume back up a little bit. Yeah. I think right there is good. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, we might get get rowdy at some point, <laughs> but I think it, for now it'll be okay. Dude, I'm just going to turn it up all the way. All right. I mean, you think that's back cool? Off a little. Okay. Well, okay, who knows when the music starts playing. It might... Oh, wait, I'll really just turn it down some. Yeah, it's true. That'll help. Okay. So what we were saying earlier? Oh, yeah, that's a cool beat. Mark came up with a cool beat there. Yeah. And I like this I like this guitar part, actually, that Eddie came up with, and then I came up with like a counter guitar part. I, I actually really I like this whole intro. It just goes on too long, I guess is what we started to say. Yeah. Yeah, Before. yeah, it does. But it's really nice because every instrument's working against one another. But the intro does go on way too long. Yeah. I just want to point out that um, these are great words, dude. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like they're really great. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, to whoever's <laughs> sitting through this, however, thank you, John Nolan, for that. Enjoy these lyrics that never made the record. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up for me to say it like that. <laughs> Enjoy these lyrics that were good. But not quite good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that that's true at all. I know, I know. I'm being, I'm being very cynical about this whole thing. Yeah, true. Sean's kind of killing it right there. Yeah. I feel like Sean and Mark really um, came together in a really cool way when we were in El Paso working on these songs. Like on all and everything, they really like I feel like uh, came together and set the tone for uh, a lot of things that ended up happening on the record. Yeah, true, true. Or like, yeah, like they did seem to like, or like little things that they were trying to work work out. But it was super funny too because anytime Mark would, like when he was first asking Sean about that stuff, like he was. Or like it started out as him like trying to be overly nice and really cautious with everything he was, he was saying, and then what it ended up being was, dude, just don't play that, just play something else. <laughs> yeah. And then like, or but, or like so that like it was kind of like a healing process for Mark too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there was a very like uh, much of a relationship that was being uh, that developed uh, through this whole process. I think. With the two of them. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't talk over the whole song yet. Like, it's still happening. That intro was definitely to the <laughs> Where are we now? I'm not even sure. I think we're coming down to the end. I thought that... It like, feels like the end. It is. The end. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Down did, did you hear that? Maybe the bass is just in the earbud that I'm wearing. But I can hear it a little, but I feel like you got it more in or like, it, dude, he did this gnarly film that was kind of like, the song is ending now, it's ending now, it's ending now. <laughs> Like, just he did it with notes, you know, it's still words. Yeah. This song is ending now, Phil. <laughs> Which happened a while ago. I mean, now it's over. Should we, should we do a recap? Uh, yeah, I guess. That's a, I don't know what we're going to do. But like, well, we, I guess we could just talk and then we could always take things out. Oh yeah, I mean, so we might as well just keep edit. talking. Yeah, I guess it's it's because it's. But then is someone yeah, going to sit here and listen package, to <laughs> all this stuff we're talking about? Is someone going to be sitting there like at Warner Brothers or something, like listening to what I'm saying right now? I don't and editing it out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I was going to say like, should we play the song yet? But no, we could probably just talk about it, right? Well, we just listened to it and we talked while we were listening, so now I think we can just reminisce for a little bit. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing with the next song. Yeah. We'll listen and talk over it, and then reminisce for a little while. <laughs> so basically we're just writing a blueprint right now of yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, we're feeling this out. Yeah. We're feeling it out, and I think okay. it's working. So, um, we both agreed that the intro went on for too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a cool part. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, and like I was saying, like there was... Everybody was, or like, uh, or like you, Sean, and Eddie were all like playing completely different things, mm -hmm. and so, but everything was working off one another. So it's almost like you were building 
you know, Voltron. It felt like that when we were playing it. And like, and like then with what Mark was doing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. I think it's just one of those songs that just overall it didn't, you know, it didn't, it didn't, like, it didn't get fully realized or something, but it had the, I feel like there's a lot of good ideas in it, you know? And, uh, yeah, I agree. But for some reason, one reason or another, it just was never, those ideas weren't, like, brought to their full potential or something, I guess, or something like that. It's like, yeah, well, like, too, I think in the order of the demos that we had, it was kind of, like, in a place to where there were already all these crazy ideas to try to filter through. Yeah. And then that one happened, so it just kind of got... I just think it just fell in the wrong place, because I think had this had this been one of the first songs heard, like, it probably... Yeah, there might have been like a different approach to working more through time it. With it. Yeah, that's true. That's what's weird about these songs, too, is that, like, it, it ends up being a little bit, like, a little bit random which songs get focused on and which ones don't. And sometimes it does have to do with when they get recorded in the process. Like, the earliest ones in the process, I think, tend to get the most focus. Yeah. And then as you keep adding more and more songs, and they have to be better and better to get it, people's attention. And, and I think that's kind of what happened with this one. It was late in the process, and it was kind of, we had a lot of other songs to focus on. Yeah, so it just, yeah. It's like the wayward song. Yeah. <laughs> the prodigal song. <laughs> but it too, it's like one of those things, I bet money if we go back to this and spend the kind of time with it that we spent with the other songs on the record, mm -hmm. that it would be, or yeah, who knows, this might, this song might be on the next record. <laughs> I mean, who it knows? could be. Well, now it won't be because we spent all this time <laughs> talking about it. Yeah, but they're only making so many copies of the pre-order thing, so only so many people will hear it, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we'll still have a chance to make this song realize its full potential. <laughs> I feel like we're talking about all the wrong things for this <laughs> Sorry. I hope it's... I hope... I really do. Like, are we just talking about the... Like, we're talking about how this song is kind, could be really good, but it's oh, not. Really? No. And then we're I talking about... I really not. believe, though... No. I believe in this stage, it's not that great. But I do believe that if we just spent some time with it, I it would agree. be awesome. I agree. But is this... Do we... Are we supposed to be this honest or not? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> like, like... Should we be less like, honest about it? Or like, should we? Yeah, should like, we be like, oh, this song was should good. Should we not be? This song was very good, and it had its strong points, and it had its weak points, <laughs> and overall, every song we write is very good. In it, but certain ones yeah. just are not to the same standard of quality as other ones. I think that in a perfect world, um, it would be okay to say things like. Or like not that, or it would just be okay to be really honest. Like rather than people just assuming that they're songwriters that just they wake up in the morning and pop a song out of their butt in twenty minutes and then go about their day, you know? Mm -hmm. Like so, it's um yeah, they can't all be they can't all be winners, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and uh, and but too, I think the moral of the story is. The more time you spend with something, the better it will be. So stay focused. Yeah. So basically, we're just like one of those, the more you know, like one of those NBC <laughs> commercials right now. This is, yeah, this is just a tale, a cautionary tale for children. This song is like the novel version of one of those <laughs> commercials. No, 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 no. This, this, this commentary on the song, what we've been talking about, is, um, is the is the lost television show to that commercial. <laughs> Wait, I don't only know meaning means, through like how long the duration means. of Lost went, just meaning oh, okay. it, it's a long thing. It was you lengthy. Get through it. Yeah, like you got to get through this, but there's a message there. Towards the commercial just did it very I quickly. I see what you're saying now. Now that you explain it, it makes sense. <laughs> I just started off with a really bad analogy. I'm sorry. <laughs> or, Man, whenever you have to explain the analogy, you know. Then you know it's not wasn't that great, but you know. Yeah, true. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with <laughs> analogies. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose when you write a song. song. Yeah. And you're listening to the loser songs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay tuned.